Harry Tickman joins us now with uh, sports. Big day for the Mets out there. Well, big time day for baseball. It's that time of year. And unfortunately, we start with some bad news for the New York Mets. Their pitching ace, Johan Santana, has been placed on the 15-day disabled list due to a sprained right ankle. Sources are reporting that he won't return before August 7th. My ankle still, uh, you know, recovering from, from that injury or from, from that day, but, but again, I don't think about it. You know, my, my shoulder's fine. I don't have any problems with it. You got to give time to recover. You know, at the same time, uh, let the whole body recover and, and, and go back to, to do what I, what I used to do, you know, but th there's no question here. You have to be you know, 100% and you got to be healthy, you know, in order to compete. While the Mets and Dodgers battled at City Field today, and we pick up action in the third inning, one nothing Dodgers. When Juan Arribe doubles to right off Miguel Batista, two runs score. Batista struggled today. He recorded just nine outs and left the game trailing four nothing. Daniel Murphy gives New York a chance in the eighth. He lines one to right center and gets a friendly bounce. Scott Hairston scores, and Murphy has a stand-up triple, cutting the New York deficit to two. R. A. Dickey came on in the ninth to give the bullpen a breather, but a. Bay tags him for a two-run homer, pushing the lead back to three. Still, the Mets had a chance. Crunch time with Scott Hairston at the plate as the tying run, but he strikes out to end the game. The Mets lose 8-5, dropping them to 500 for the first time since May 4th. And time for a quick break here, but when we return, the Yankees looked for a victory in Oakland. And Team USA basketball is getting ready for the London Olympics. That and more coming up when News 4 New York continues. The Verizon Fios Sports Desk is brought to you by Verizon Fios. Introducing Fios Quantum Speed, internet twice as fast as anything America has ever seen. Welcome back. The Yankees and A's tangled in Oakland tonight with New York looking to win their first game in the series and prevent a three-game losing streak. And the game remains scoreless in the top of the fourth until Raul Ibanez singles to center. A-Rod scores and the Bombers have a 1-0 advantage. Oakland claws back courtesy of Jonas Cespedes. He dials deep to left for his 13th home run of the season. And that's still in progress right now. The A's have pulled ahead one run. Yankees down 1-2 in the top of the ninth. Drama was riding high this afternoon in the world of golf as the third round of the British Open teed off in England. All eyes were on this man, Tiger Woods, as he's going for his first major title in four years. Tiger started the day with a pair of bogeys, but he rebounds nicely, rolling in this 50-foot birdie putt on the par 4-6. But Woods failed to cart a birdie on the back and closed with an even par 70. Tiger currently in fourth place, five strokes off the lead. Meanwhile, everyone is chasing Adam Scott, the Australian. Australian star on a mission, going for his first major title. Scott finished the round at two under par, leaving him at 11 under for the tournament and four strokes ahead of Brant Snedeker and Graham McDowell. Opening ceremony for the Olympic Games is just a few days away as the international spotlight will be shining on London. And Team USA men's basketball was in Madrid today preparing for exhibition games against Argentina and Spain before heading to England. Both countries are expected to be two of America's biggest rivals. Team USA is looking to repeat their gold medal performance from 2008. And New York star Tyson Chandler is expecting the competition to be fierce. Stay tuned for a great weekend. Coming up, Contessa, great night of sports. Yeah, right. I mean, you've got a big day of sports, big day of sports tomorrow, too. Good to have you here today, Harry.